Though you aren't of the Legion, you've aided us more than once. We acquire many items on our raids, some useless to us, some forbidden. I've provided you the location of a drop box where you can obtain these items. The box will be replenished every few days. Please be aware that we'll assume any items left in the box will be unwanted and be removed and destroyed. Stay an ally of the Legion and we will share our loot with you. If you start working against us or become an enemy, our deal ends. True to Kaiser. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. 
We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. For Pete's sake, opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. whole future of New Vegas seems like it's up in the air. Guess I should wait things out before buying a condo in the Ultralux, huh? He was dead when I got there. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? <laughs> Good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon a time, it was about technology, controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole, not carrying out our mission. More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. No, actually, you're born into it. My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. I'm a procurement specialist. Like I said, it's basically grocery shopping, except sometimes the groceries are scavenged parts and arcane technology. The elder who brought us to the Mojave, Father Elijah, usually had me looking for these old memory units, but he'd never tell me what they were for. Nowadays, I'm usually sent to do business with traders at places like the 188, but sometimes I think it's just to keep me out of everyone's hair. I know sometimes I sound like I don't, I know, but there's something that still rings true to me about our code. There's an honor to it. We're protecting people, even if it's from themselves. It's a good cause. We just lose sight of the big picture sometimes, treat all our practices with the same sacredness. No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. We've had people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His mind just worked that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. And there were other ways he wanted to push, other weapons, ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. Ah, the Codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history, too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm, I wonder. Nah, they'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's axioms. Let's. Listen up, I'm in charge of security around here, and I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. Looking sharp, Ramo. Behave yourself this time, Veronica. The reports say Mr. House's robots are now McNamara has done a pretty good job. McNamara has done a pretty good job, given the situation he was in. Hello, you must be the outsider everyone's talking about. I'm Linda Schuller. If you ever need medical attention, this is the place to come. Bye. 
you're being watched, so don't get any ideas. If you're planning to take Veronica with you, be sure to have a good pair of airplugs with you. I'm kidding, Veronica. Put the power fist down. Does Ramos know you're walking around without a guard? Harden owes his life to McNamara. That's why he won't challenge him outright. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Hello, outsider. NCR military transmissions say the robots on the strip have been upgraded. Wish we had eyes on intel. I have important work to do, so no time to talk. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I own for that. <sighs> he means well. I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're gonna survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. Look at the followers of the Apocalypse. They use their expertise to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. That expertise cultivates respect and gratitude, spreads their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends, like we make enemies. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail, or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets its attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Our elder before McNamara, he had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert, chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. What is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. Sorry. Have you seen the dust from above? 
I worked on that machine. If it's not broken weapon, it's broken power armor. There are whispers that Captain Mirror's lost his nerve. See what we've got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. Hmm, more or less. Supposedly, it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport. Guess they found something. Guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. We'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon, but self-sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios-1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios-1 for a time. Lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. If it turns out to be a dud, it should show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. Yeah, maybe they'll think twice about engaging the NCR if they know one of those could be floating around. The notes say to look around Nellis Air Force Base. He suggests going through filing cabinets and computers in the commanding officer's quarters. I like the way you think.
Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Bye. What's up? What are your thoughts? Ranger at the ready.
got something good for me? Is it a dress? Got something good for me? Is it a dress? Hey, a dress. Thank you. I am totally fine.
figure it'd have more buttons and dials and stuff, you know? Oh well. It's still the, like, chronic equivalent of a disease from Gamora. What's up? Veronica, I hope... I brought you a present. We found a gun that disables power armor. One of these could defeat the whole Brotherhood. We have to stop limiting our focus to military technology. It won't save us. That could be the only one of its kind. That's not the point. Technology won't win our wars. We need numbers, new recruits. What does the Codex say? A bunch of closed-minded bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance. For me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Come on. I can't listen to this anymore.
What's up? Hello, outsider. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? No. Our case wouldn't be any stronger if tomorrow they all died when their energy weapons backfired. I just didn't expect that. There was no getting through to him. How can I help them when they won't accept it? I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. Work with the followers of the apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do... whatever I can. Until it comes to a slow or sudden end. They may be a bunch of wooden conformists, but anything I did without them would feel empty. I'd always be reminded of this day, how I wasn't strong enough to stand by them. So, I guess I'll stay. Won't be easy, but at least I won't feel guilty about the choice. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all of this, and some fresh air would do me some good right about now. We heard Veronica talking with the Elder. We won't stand for this. High Elder Maxon didn't just found the Brotherhood. He defined it. To serve in the Brotherhood is to serve his ideals. Our way of life is based on them. We know no other path. There is no other path. With her leanings, Veronica spits in the face of every knight, paladin, and scribe to serve in our ranks. Respect nothing. She plants a whisper in his ear, poison him against the Codex. No. This has to end now. Execute them. Hey! Get used to this, I guess. People get desperate. They turn on each other. First thing to go is trust. I don't think it's ever going to be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's going to end badly. But they're all I have. Yeah, I've got the rest of my life to help them out. I could spare a little while to see things through with you. I think so. Two things the Brotherhood has a lot of, hard heads and lasers. Wouldn't be the first time a disagreement ended like this. Plus, we killed all the witnesses. Good idea. <laughs> 